In the last session, we looked into how to search a particular theory using Google Scholar. And we also looked into what is a theory, why a particular theory is important. Now, in this session, I'm going to look into Mendeley, how to search a particular theory if you've got so many papers downloaded and you've just put it in Mendeley. Now, there are detailed lectures on Mendeley on the channel and I'm going to share the link in the description as well. So in this session, the first thing, let's look at the theory. For example, these are the papers that I've downloaded on a particular topic and I want to find out the theories that have been used. So what I'll do is I simply come here and write in theory. So complexity theory has been used, social exchange theory has been used, complexity theory, whatever the theories are, they have been used. For example, let's say I want, I'm interested in leadership and behavior. So let's say what theory has been used. So social exchange theory has been used with servant leadership or conservation of resources theory has been used. So you can search through Mendeley, click next and find out theories that have been used with a particular concept. So once you've got the papers in Mendeley, you can simply search the word theory or let's say you can have the word theories as well. Let's enter. Let's see if it works with capital or small letters. So it gives both the same results. So you can use both capital or small letters. Let's say, for example, I click on here, but look at this, no matches for the phrase because now it is taking this whole as a phrase for this document. So you can obviously just look into one. So it was th theory that was mentioned with this paper or for this paper. So you can use the word theory to search within the paper. Now, the next thing that is important, although we are going to look into detail as well later, where do you write about the theory? So you introduce the theory that are, you are using for your paper in the introduction of the paper. So once you have explained the gaps of your study, what is it that you are doing that hasn't been done before? Then you explain the theoretical lens for your study. Now here is a paper. I remember using the word theoretical lens for one of my studies. So here it is. Now what happens is after I've described in the gaps in my study and everything in the introduction here, the gaps in the research and all, and I'm going to talk about this in detail when I describe how to read a paper. So the next thing that I've done here is that I've explained the theoretical lens for this study. Let's just quickly go through it. The theoretical lens for this study is knowledge based view. Now this is not enough. You just don't just write it. Okay. This is the theory that I'm going to use. Now what you have to do is very briefly describe what it means here. That's it. Now, once that is done, the next step is that you describe the contribution that your research makes towards the theory. And look at this. The research makes several significant contributions through the integration of KBV. Now what you are doing is you are integrating a theory with particular concepts. So this is your contribution. We identify how KM enablers and different KM processes are associated with PS extending limited research on the linkage between EO, KOL and PS. So what I've done through this particular sentence is that I've integrated the theory that I'm going to use with the concepts that I'm going to study. That is the interrelationship between these concepts. Now there are other examples as well. Let's go to one of the other examples. Now look at this again. Through the integration of KBV, we identify KM processes as a distinct pathway through which EL is associated with project success. So knowledge based view will help us explain how entrepreneurial leadership influences KM processes and that ultimately leads to improvement in project success. Now again, let's move on. I've got another topic as well. Just quickly go through that one as well. Here is the paper. And let's go to the introduction of the paper. The present study utilizes social identity theory and the resource space view. Now two theories have been utilized. So what is social identity theory? 
what is rbv now csr efforts are rare valuable non imitable just like any other scarce resource under rbv the research contribution or the research contributes to the literature on sit and rbv by demonstrating the relationship now this research is contributing by demonstrating the relationship between csr team outcomes and op now this is what you do in your introduction in a separate paragraph you describe or you write about the theories that you are using a sentence or two as to what these theory or what these theories mean now once you describe as to what these theories mean you explain how are you going to contribute towards them and then the detail is followed in the literature review how have a look now to explain the relationship between csr and op we used the resource based view in this research the relationship between csr and op can be further elucidated or explained through rbv now the central idea of resource based view is that organization is or other organizations compete against others based on their resources so is csr a resource yes csr is a resource firm resource according to sun and price in 2016 and then it is explained that csr efforts can help provide a distinct point of differentiation for businesses hence it is a resource and that differentiation can help you improve your performance so what happens is we use rbv so we have to prove if csr is a resource and yes we have done it here through reference and if it is a resource it helps explain or improve organizational performance well it does so based on these arguments we say that csr has a significant positive impact on op this is how you use a theory to explain the relationship between two different concepts i hope the session would have helped you understand where to present a theory initially in your literature or rather in the introduction and finally how to write about the theory in your literature review we are going to further focus on this in coming sessions as well